Good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome to our music lesson. Today we are going to look at uh, adding bar lines in both simple and compound time. And this is actually a continuation of the last topic before we did our midterm exams. And there are a few things I want us to note down when we are adding bar lines. And the first thing I want us to note down is that you must look at the time signature. You must look at the time signature so that you can be able to identify how many bits we have in every bar. And after identifying the number of bits in every bar, then you should look at the type of bit. Now, boys and girls, you need to take your time because it is easy to make mistakes when you are in a rush and carefully count the notes based on the time signature given. So this is very important. And I'm going to give you an example here so that you might, it might help you to do the following exercise thereafter. The first, I've given example in simple time and in compound time. And the first example is, is in simple time. And as you can see, we have three, four. And three, four means we have three crotchet bits in every bar. So I'm going to show you on how to begin. You are going to count three crotchet bits. And where the three crotchet bits end, you are going to put your bar line there. So this one is one, two, three. So my bar line is going to come here. So I'll put my bar line. And then a minimum has two crotchet plus this one here, it is what? Three. So my next bar line is going to be there. Remember, the top number tells us the type of bit, the number of bits in every bar. Sorry, the number of bits in every bar. So you should have three. Like the first bar, we have three crotchets. This one, they add to three crotchets. And when you come here, a dotted minimum has three crotchets. So my bar, I'll end with my double bar line here. And anytime you end up the piece of music, remember to end it with a double bar line. So I'm going to the next example, the one that is in compound time. Here, I'll have six, I have my six, eight. So what it means, boys and girls, there are six quavers. Remember, a half note is a minimum, a quarter note is a crotchet, a eighth note is a quiver. So anytime you have eight at the bottom, you know it is quiver. Anytime you have four at the bottom, you know it is a crotchet. And anytime you have two at the bottom, you know that is a minimum. So I'm going to count six quavers. So I'll begin one, two, three. And then I come here, a dotted crotchet has three. So three plus this three will make six. And then I'll continue adding bar lines. These are three quavers plus this crotchet here, it makes four, plus uh, the, the crotchet here has two, so three, four, plus these two is going to make what? Six. So I'll have my bar line there, and a dotted mean, a dotted crotchet, sorry, a dotted crotchet has three quavers, and another crotchet, dotted crotchet has three quavers. So three plus three will up to six. So remember to end your piece of music with the double bar line. So these examples here is going to help you do the following exercise. So you will actually copy the notes, copy the notes, copy the notes here, and then you do the exercise thereafter and remember to write your notes in front of your books and after you are done 
you can send me an image. You can take a snapshot of the exercise that you have done into my WhatsApp so that I can be able to see whether you have gotten it right. Thank you and have a blessed day.